welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to explain how to use a Windows utility called Dispart to remove a drive's formatting and partition information. This can be a very useful thing to do if you've got a USB drive or an SSD or a hard drive which has become corrupted or which you might have been using to do a Linux installation and which is no longer fully accessible in Windows. That's quite a common situation. Now, I must stress from the start that this part is a very powerful utility, which means you have to use it very carefully. You can do an awful lot of damage to a drive very quickly if you get things wrong when using this part. But because I personally use it quite a lot, I often run this part many times a day when I'm making videos for this channel and doing lots of installs. Because I find it very useful, I thought it was a good idea to make a video about it and share why I think it's such a, a good tool. And to start things out, I think it's a good idea to say a few words about how data is organised and stored on a drive. Right, here we have an SSD in factory state, exactly as it would be as if we'd just purchased it, if we'd just taken it out of the box. And to use such a drive, three things need to happen. First, it needs to be initialised with a partition style. Secondly, one or more partitions need to be created on the drive. And finally, the drive's one or more partitions need to be formatted to allow them to store data. Now, when you get a new USB thumb drive or maybe an external SSD or an external hard drive, it's likely it will already be initialized, partitioned and formatted. However, this will not be the case when you get an internal drive like one of these. And so before we delve into this part, I thought we'd run through the normal Windows process for initializing, partitioning and formatting a drive. And to do this, I'm going to take this drive and uh, this USB to SATA adapter. And we can use this, I can plug that in like that over there. We can use this to connect this to my laptop like this. There we are, where it won't be recognized. We go to my PC. You can see here we've got on the laptop just the one drive, the internal SSD. It hasn't found the drive we've connected because it hasn't been set up. So what we need to do is to go to this PC and right click and go down to manage and then to click on when this comes up here in a second. Who said I get impatient? We'll click on disk management and it'll find the fact we've got a drive that hasn't been set up and come up with the initialized disk requester which says you must initialize the disk before logical disk manager can access it. And as you can see what we need to do is to select a partition style and this can be either MBR which stands for master boot record or GPT which stands for GUID partition table. Yes that definition falls back on another acronym and GUID stands for globally unique identifiers. And basically, MBR is the older standard. It only supports drives up to two terabytes. It's not quite as robust. And therefore, for most SSDs and hard drives these days, you should select GPT and Windows will recommend that. However, for flash drives, for memory cards, and for drives you know you want to share with older versions of Windows, you might want to select MBR. Anyway, here we'll go for GPT and OK. And that will finish off there. We can now see the drive has got some unallocated space. Let's give ourselves a bit more space on the screen to see that. We now need to right click that unallocated space, do new simple volume to create a partition. We'll do next in the wizard. We can then tell Windows how much of the drive's capacity to use. I'm going to use all of it for this partition. So we'll just have one partition on the drive. We'll assign the drive letter D to this partition, to this volume. And uh, we'll also format the drive at this stage. And we need to select a file system for formatting. The default is NTFS. We could use XFAT if we wanted to. And I'd point out I've got a video called Explaining File Systems all about the uh, file system options. Anyway, we'll give it a name. We'll call it uh, Hello. Let's call this drive Hello for once. It's a nice name to give it. And we'll click on Next. It will uh, format up the drive. We can finish off. And hopefully, there we are, formatting is taking place. And there we are, we've got a drive called Hello. And uh, if we now go back to this PC and we open it up, there we can see the drive. Everything's working because the drive has all been set up. Greetings. Here I am back again. The SSD is still connected to my laptop. It's still working perfectly. But let's imagine the drive has become corrupted. And I've tried things like reformatting. They can't get the drive functional again. And this sometimes happens. 
Here, for example, is a requester I saw in Windows a few weeks ago when I was working with a drive and I couldn't get it back by reformatting. It wasn't a read-only issue. The drive had just become corrupted. So I needed to get it back to factory state. And to do that with a drive, we can use this part. That thing this video is all about. So let's close that down. And this part is a command line utility. So there's various ways we can get to it. One is to go down and run up a command prompt. I can do that just by clicking here in my search box because you can see I've been using it recently. But if I hadn't, I could simply type CMD down here. Command prompt comes up there. I could click on command prompt and we get a command prompt, as you can see. And I've got very large fonts here on the screen for video purposes. And if you want to have large fonts in your command prompt window, just go up to the top, right click and go to uh, properties and you can change all the properties for your uh, command prompt. Anyway, once we're in the, the command prompt, we can start this part by typing this part like that and uh, enter. We'll get a warning message. Do we really want to do this? Yes, we do. And uh, enter. And uh, here we are running a, a disk part window. And what I'm going to do here straight away is to exit by typing exit. There's our first disk part command like that to come out of it. Or we could have close it by closing the window in a normal way. And the reason I've done that is to show you that even easy way to get to this part in Windows 10 is just to go down to the search bar and type this part. You probably have guessed that. Run it from there. So uh, it'll come up again. Same thing. And uh, we've got it up. But I just wanted to show you you can launch this part by uh, using the command prompt. Now, this part is a very powerful utility with lots of commands for working with drives. But all I want to do here is to bring our SSD back to factory state. And to do that, first of all, we need to do a list and disk. And yes, everything is called a disk, not a drive. That's just the way things are. And when we do that, we can see the two disks on this system. And clearly the first one here is the SSD in the laptop. I don't want to do anything to that. And the second one is the drive we've got connected in. And to work with that drive, we need to type select disk one. Obviously, if you had more than two drives here, the drive you're working with might not be this one. Don't just type this one blindly. Make sure you select the drive you want to work with. So I'll select that and enter. And what we now need to do is to check things very, very carefully. We can see we want to work with disk one. We've selected this one. Disk one is now the selected disk. I think we can be pretty confident we're working with disk one. And we have to be confident because I'm now going to enter clean, which will remove all the information, the partition style, the partitions, the formatting, everything, data of course as well, from disk one. So there we are. I think I've got it right. I'll press enter. And there we are. The disk has been cleaned. Wasn't that fast? And if I now do an exit like that, we can come out of that. And that has all taken place. And I could have actually set the drive up then in this part using commands, but I think I'm going to do it graphically here by going back to uh, manage with my, this PC, as we saw in the last segment. That'll come up in a second. We'll go back to a disk management. And as you can see, we're back to where we were. The SSD looks like a completely new drive. And so once again, we can select a partition style. That's fine. That will happen down there. We can see the uh, unallocated space is now here. Right click on allocated space, just as we did before. New simple volume. We will do that. Again, we'll do a single partition. Allocate to drive D. We'll call it this time test. Let's just change things around like that. And uh, finish. And it'll take place. And the drive will now be uh, hopefully all accessible and working again. And we can prove it by opening up uh, this PC. There we are. The drive is still very happy. And so you've now seen how to use this part to return a drive to factory state. Right, here I am back again. And as you can see, I've now got a USB thumb drive plugged into my laptop. And on this USB thumb drive, I've installed a Linux distro. It happens to be Ubuntu 20.04, but it could be any Linux distro. And if we go across to the laptop display, here we are. You can see we're running Ubuntu 20.04. It's all working with all its lovely apps and all that kind of stuff. But I don't want to try out Ubuntu here or install it or anything like that. I just wanted to show you it's working from this thumb drive. And I want to come out of Ubuntu and look at the state of the thumb drive in Windows. So we'll just go over here and we'll go to a power off. If I can hit it there, there we are. And power off. And we'll come out of this system. There we are, power off. And I can now remove the USB thumb drive, press enter, and uh, after that, I will uh, reboot the computer. And here we are coming back up again into Windows. And we're back on the Windows desktop. And I'll take the USB drive and plug it back in like that. 
and Windows will not be particularly happy with this drive. It wants to reformat it. We won't do that. That wouldn't help us directly. And uh, you'll see here it's appearing a couple of ways on. It's appearing as a drive we can't access. That's the one Windows just wanted to format. Yes, Windows, we know it doesn't recognize the file system. And there's a very small drive there which does come up. And in fact, if we go over here to this PC and we go into uh, Manage, you will see if we look at the thumb drive here in a second, I'm getting impatient again, back into Disk Management, we will see down here that uh, the drive at the bottom there has got four different partitions, some of which Windows can see, some of which it can't, because of the way it's been set up as a Linux install and test drive. And potentially, and most of the time, you can get rid of these partitions working here and just reformat the drive, but it doesn't always work. Some Linux installs and Ubuntu isn't one of them, can leave a flash drive in a real mess. So you can tell what I'm going to do. I think the easiest way to get out of this, and it's the way I always do it, just go into disk part. There we are, let's run it up here. Be getting used to it by now. Do we want to do it? Yes, we do. And uh, there we are, disk part is uh, running, and we'll uh, list disk. Again, you can see the flash drive is here as disk one. Select disk one, there we are. Never rush too much when you're doing clean commands in this part. But as you can see, my SSD is still disk zero and disk one is the uh, USB drive. So I'll do a clean like that. It has been successful. And we'll go back into this PC now. And rather than having to mess around ourselves there, we can just go into manage. And we can go into disk management. It won't tell us probably that a drive needs initiating because it's a flash drive not an SSD, something like that. But you can see we've now got unallocated space on the USB drive. And we can just go in there and do a new simple volume to create a partition. We'll do a single partition, it was best on a USB drive in Windows, and allocate drive D. We'll call it Corsair 64, because it is a Corsair 64 drive. And that will uh, finish off, hopefully, OK. And uh, there we are, it's finished. And hopefully I've shown you how to use this part to get back a nice working USB drive after you've been using it for a Linux install. As we've seen in this video, this part is a very powerful Windows utility, which can be very useful if you want to recover a corrupted USB or other drive. However, you must use disk part with great care if you want to avoid doing things like wiping your operating system. So please check very carefully indeed you selected the right drive, the right disk, before executing a disk part clean command. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you see today, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.